Hi, I'm Tamika. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Uh, and I thought I would share a little bit of what I've been doing with my... So over the weekend, I got my husband to help me out uh, and take a few measurements for me so that I could make my own bodice block. So I've been using this book here. Uh, this is Pattern Making for Fashion Design by Helen Joseph Armstrong. Uh, it is a pattern drafting textbook essentially um, and it's got pages throughout uh, where you can put in your own measurements so and a chapter on how to actually measure uh, so with that I took many measurements I tried doing it on my own first and note to everyone including myself you cannot measure yourself accurately <laughs> um, so that's where my husband came in and using those measurements, I drafted my own bodice block. Uh, now, it was a bit of a rough process getting here, uh, which is what I will show you today. <laughs> um, but I'm really happy that I've got that done uh, and it will be very useful in future. So if you want to see how I got to this finished product, keep on watching. Uh, I will run you through everything that I did. Please don't take this as a tutorial. It is not. This is just following along in my journey to my basic pattern block. I'm starting here with the front bodice. I've already got all of the measurements I need written down and I will try to run through them as we go. So first up was the full length plus an eighth of an inch ease. Next is across the shoulder less an eighth of an inch. That just gets squared down a few inches. Then we've got our centre front length which again is squared out a few inches. And at the bottom there is the bust arc, which is squared both across and up. Next is the shoulder slope plus an eighth of an inch and the bust depth is marked on the same line. Then our shoulder length, which is squared down to meet the line that we drew earlier. The bust span plus a quarter of an inch gives us our bust point. And the horizontal line here is our across chest measurement with a quarter of an inch ease. This little mark is for our dart placement. Next is the new strap measurement with an eighth of an inch ease and the side length. The next one changes depending on cup size, but for me it was one and a quarter inches. And this again is side length. Finding the other dart leg uses a little math with the waist arc plus some ease less dart placement measurement. The dart point falls 5 eighths of an inch from the bust point and we connect all of the remaining lines with curves. I've used the blue pen here to indicate the pattern outlines. Here I'm just trying to work out how to finish the armhole curve and then I finish off the neckline as well. On to the back. As with the front, we start with the full length, a cross shoulder measurement, centre back length and back arc. It's really important to be as precise as you can with measurements and with cutting because even as little as an eighth or even a sixteenth of an inch can really change the results. Next we measure the back neck plus an eighth of an inch and draw the shoulder slope plus an eighth of an inch. Then using those points we show the shoulder length with an extra half an inch. At the bottom there we find our dart placement and measure our waist arc with the dart intake which is marked next. This line here is our side length and our dart point is squared up one inch less than that side length measurement. Next we find the centre point of the shoulder line and draw a line three inches in the direction of the lower dart point. The dart legs fall a quarter of an inch from the centre point.
This line here falls a quarter of the way down the centre back length and we use our across back measurement with a quarter of an inch ease. Finally, we round out the armhole and the neckline. Once my pattern pieces are cut out, I trace them onto my fabric, in this case, an old quilt cover. I will transfer any markings and cut with seam allowances where necessary. From here I will sew up my muslin starting with the centre back and darts, then shoulder and side seams, leaving the centre front open to be able to try it on. Alright, so this is my first draft option. Um, it doesn't look too bad. So this is kind of front, side, back, and other side. Anyway, uh, there are a few adjustments that I need to make that might be a little bit difficult to see. Okay, so I've just put an elastic band around my waist, uh, the waist point that I was measuring to, but so you can see where it sits. I did think when I first put this on that it was a little bit short, but now that I've got that there, I think we're sweet. Um, I, th I think it could go just a fraction longer, but maybe it's fine. Um, the other things that I want to do, I want to round out this neckline a little bit. Um, it's definitely kind of more of a v-shape at the moment but uh, the two main things that I think need changing are these shoulder slopes and my armholes so I don't know if you can see there they kind of sit when they're on my shoulders they have if I just pull it apart there you can see it sits off of my shoulders right at the neck um, so I had thought I would just angle that in towards the neck but I think I might actually use somewhere in the middle as like a center point, pivot point, and add just a little bit to the outer shoulder and then reduce at the neckline as well. So that would be kind of just flattening that slope a little bit. But my, I'll do that first uh, and see how the sleeves go, but I feel like the sleeve holes are just a little tight. So I don't know if you can see on this one, but I'm getting a bit of pulling through here. I think by uh, just carving out a little, little bit from the sleeve, the arm side, uh, that that will hopefully just kind of relax and settle. Then on the back, I have quite a lot of excess fabric. I think it's quite wide. Um, so I will kind of take out quite a bit through probably the I'll, I'll probably just take it out of the center back and then potentially move these uh, darts just across a little bit so that they're still in their right place. So those, that's the plan. Uh, and that's what I'll do now. These are my already altered pattern pieces. What I've done here is just fold under the center back line on that back piece uh, about a quarter of an inch to reduce the width. Um, I've also moved the lower dart across by the same amount. Now on both pieces, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but I've dropped the lower part of the arm side again by about a quarter of an inch and curved that to roughly the midpoint of that sleeve hole. Um, I've also adjusted the shoulder slope by adding just a tiny amount at the outer shoulder and taking some away from the neckline. So that has just made that angle slightly flatter uh, and will hopefully fix all of my problems. Um, I've done my next draft up. I'm really happy with the arm size. I don't know if you can see in the mirror there. I'm really happy with the arm size here and the back is fitting really well. Uh, the alterations that I'd like to make now are in this front part. I've drawn a new line here of where I'd like this to sit 
Um, and again, that neckline, I still haven't got that right. So I've actually drawn a little line here. I'm going to drop that neckline um, and round it out towards the front. Now with this front piece, because I want this seam to be a straight line, I will need to transfer this to further across in here somewhere uh, and see how I go with that. This has ended up looking a bit like a Frankenstein pattern um, because I've been playing around with what it is that I wanted to do here. So uh, you can see here, this is the wedge that I removed from the front and this is from the neckline. Um, so I've removed those. What I ended up doing was at this point here, actually I started by cutting through the bust line up to the shoulder. Uh, and then from there I cut across here uh, to the end of the wedge. Um, so then I spread that to make this line straight, uh, which meant that this was all wrong. <laughs> so uh, I cut again on the other side of the uh, bust point uh, and that ended up, I've just drawn a little purple line here to see where that I ended up overlapping. So at this point here, I've pivoted everything back across this way until this part met up with this. Uh, and that has spread this section here. Uh, and then I've just trued up the shoulder points here and we'll be trimming that off. So we'll see if that works out. We have it, I've just trimmed that bit off there. Uh, the only thing that I think I needed to do with the back was uh, adjust this neckline. So reducing it the same amount that I did on this side when I cut this off. Still not quite there. Making it up as I go now. At this point, I wasn't entirely happy with the changes I'd made. It was now too tight across the chest and I needed to add some ease back in. I also felt like the arm side was now too curved and I still wasn't happy with the neckline. I was so frustrated with it that I didn't film any more alterations. I am stuck. <laughs> this looks so good. I put off making it yesterday. I cut it all out, but I was so frustrated with the whole thing that I couldn't bring myself to sew it together and find out that it wasn't going to fit. So um, I sewed it up this morning and it is perfect. I don't know if I can get a shot of the back. There we go. Yeah, I'm just so happy with how this has gone. Um, so next step is just to retrace my pattern uh, without all of the sticky tape and everything and uh, I will add some seam allowance and it'll be good to go. This is where we started after all of those initial measurements. There were a few errors in this first iteration that were entirely my fault uh, because I'd marked some of the points that were to be measured in the wrong places. Uh, so it meant that I needed to adjust that neckline, I needed to adjust the upper chest ease and the arm size to get a perfect fit. So after many alterations, <laughs> we finally got there in the end. Here we are. Uh, I've got a front and a back bodice piece. Uh, I do hope to get straight on to the sleeves next uh, and then I will have a full block to be making a shirt from which if you've seen my uh, April plans video uh, you'll know that I am planning to make a beautiful pink blouse with large sleeves so uh, keep an eye out for that coming up. Uh, hopefully I will get it done by the end of the month. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed my video, give it a like. You can subscribe down below. Uh, I am currently putting videos out every week and I may get a couple of extra ones in there. We'll see. Uh, but 
like I said, I hope you're having a wonderful week uh, and that the rest of the week continues to be kind to you. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye.